Hello, I'm Major General Anthony Funkhauser, Command of the U.S. Army Center for Initial Military Training, CIMT, where we transform civilian volunteers into professional soldiers able to perform and win in a complex world. Our mission is to build a stronger Army through readiness, one in which all soldiers are better able to reach their full potential. In the past, all that was needed to join the Army was taking the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test and meeting medical standards. To strengthen the Army profession, we need to match our soldiers to jobs where they will succeed. Therefore, beginning in the near future, we will begin assessing each recruit's physical aptitude by testing for their strength, agility, and endurance. This test is referred to as the Occupational Physical Assessment Test, or OPAT. In developing the OPAT, we look to other research and needs for the soldier of 2020. Each branch, with closed military occupational specialties, helped develop the high physical demand tasks of their MOSs and jobs. Then the Army research team took measurements of what physical effort was needed to successfully accomplish high physical demand tasks. This answered the question of how much strength, power, and aerobic capacity a fully trained MOS qualified soldier needs upon graduation from AIT or OSIT for their first unit of assignment. Once we determined the fitness levels of a fully trained soldier, we could correlate and determine the level of fitness an untrained new recruit needs to reach the high physical demand task standards within initial military training based on the limited time and a human's ability to improve. The OPAT is designed to measure and help predict the success of a recruit with a base level of fitness. In order to be awarded the MOS, you will have to successfully complete the high physical demand tasks and the warrior tasks and battle drills. The OPAT from a session will help predict your ability to be trained to that level of fitness required of the high physical demand tasks. The OPAT will help us better match prospective soldiers to careers in the Army where they are most likely to succeed and meet the Army's needs. It will also help new recruits focus on physical fitness prior to their enlistment. Here are some more details about OPAT and our plans to implement it across the Army. Every soldier knows the Army is physically demanding. The OPAT will ensure soldiers are placed in the right MOSs by measuring each recruit's physical aptitude against validated physical demands and tasks required in each MOS. CIMT is currently pilot testing the OPAT until mid-2016 to validate the minimum predictive component scores for our most physically demanding occupations. The Army will start using the OPAT to evaluate cadets and recruits in the summer of 2016. The pilot program will use standardized procedures, equipment, and settings ensuring consistent, relevant, and reliable data between test locations. CIMT will then provide OPAT cutoff scores for select MOS jobs. The Army's initial focus will be on the MOSs with high physical demands. Ideally, when entering the Army, soldiers will be tested in three areas, mental aptitude and ability, social, non-cognitive skills, and physical fitness and health which is where the OPAT comes into play. The OPAT will assess lower body strength, both lower and upper body power, and aerobic fitness. Four simple tests will be used to assess these physical demands. Scientific research has determined that these events will assist Army counselors in placing the right soldier in the right job. The physical test events are the standing long jump, which assesses lower body power, the seated power throw, which assesses upper body power, the strength deadlift, which tests lower body strength, and the aerobic interval run, which assesses aerobic fitness. By assuring soldiers are placed in the right MOS, the OPAT will provide significant benefits for our force, which can be defined by the word patriot. It will improve performance. It will lower attrition and lost training time. It will improve retention. It will lower the risk of injury and it will increase overall job satisfaction and the total health of our force. Our Army is the world's premier land force. To win in a complex world, we must continue to innovate and adapt. The OPAT will start recruits off on a path to success from the beginning of their military careers, and it will contribute to making our Army stronger. Victory starts here.